Hello everybody, it's Lou Mangiello from WDW Radio and as you can tell, I'm coming to you live from Walt Disney World. Today is the first day of my latest trip to Disney and uh, in true Lou Mangiello vacationing fashion, I went right from the airport, bypassed the hotel and came right to my favorite place and that's the Magic Kingdom. And I'm going to be trying something a little bit different on this trip and maybe on future trips you enjoy it. I'm going to call it my daily Disney diary. We're going to come to you and bring you a short video every day or every night from my trips to the parks, resorts, wherever it might be. Give you a little bit of taste of uh, what I'm doing, a little bit of taste of Disney to you at home. And uh, like I said, as, uh, as with all my trips, the first place I really try and come to, whether I'm alone or with my family, is right here to the Magic Kingdom. I have a nostalgic fascination and love of this park, and uh, there's something about walking right down the middle of Main Street and hearing the music, seeing the people, and obviously seeing Cinderella cast in the distance. It really sort of makes you feel like you're at home. And it got me to thinking too, I'd love to hear from you. I want to know, what about you? When you come down to Walt Disney World, do you or your family have any sort of individual or family traditions or places that you like to go or things you like to do first when you first get here to Disney? Whether it's going to your hotel and relaxing or going to a certain theme park, maybe riding a certain ride, okay, maybe eating at a certain restaurant, whatever it might be, I'd love to hear from you. You can call the voicemail 888-703-2171, call and let me know, post on the forums or even just send me an email if you like. But uh, it's great to be here, it's great to be back. I'll be bringing you more from my trip to Disney, both from here in the Magic Kingdom and from the rest of the Disney theme parks. So uh, until next time, I'll leave you with this. So as you can see, today I'm at Fantasyland, where I'm taking a break from working on my next audio guide to Walt Disney World, which, as you might have guessed by now, is going to be Fantasyland. But uh, I wanted to stop and make a couple of quick observations. And first, the crowds today are, surprisingly, pretty big. So much so that there was a 50-minute wait for It's a Small World. Now, I'm not saying that it's not worth 50-minute wait, just not that I'm used to seeing it waiting 50 minutes. And uh, while I was here in Fantasyland, I thought I would point something out to you that maybe some of you haven't had a chance to see yet. You may know the name Randy Pausch. He is the famous author who gave the last lecture and published the last lecture book before he passed away. And uh, one thing that Disney did was actually bring in a tribute to Randy right here by the Mad Tea Party. Welcome aboard, TTA travelers. We hope you enjoy Tomorrowland Transit Authority's Super Skyway. Okay, so when I'm on these research trips, I usually don't ride any attractions except one. And especially because it's going down soon, I had to get on the TTA. And I thought maybe you want to take a little quick ride with me. I pointed out a couple of things along the way. Two things I wanted to give you an update on is the demolition of the Galaxy Palace Theater and the construction of the Stitches Supersonic Celebration Theater stage. So as we make our way around, point those out. For the time being, enjoy your trip. Super Skyway, Tomorrowland Transit Authority.
try this just for the Star Tunnel music alone. Reminds all beings with an exhilarating spin around the planets. So here's the new Stitches Supersonic Celebration stage, obviously currently still under construction. Line passengers, for all your future travel needs, the TTA services all of Tomorrowland's outlying areas, including the personal rocket ship docking lot, and of course... Welcome back to Rocket Tower Plaza at the heart of Tomorrowland. Come now, rejoin us, and believe in the promise of Tomorrowland. day one of my daily Disney diary. I hope you had fun following me around the parks just a little bit. I'm going to spend the rest of the night watching the rest of Spectro Magic, finish it off with a little bit of wishes, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night.